So a few weeks ago, uh, Perl 5.16.1 came out, and it has 170 manual pages. So I'm going to list all of them quickly. <laughs> right. Uh, you know how many lines of uh, documentation that is? I asked Mirad, and he said, oh, probably, let's say, 300 lines per file. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's um, that much documentation. And a wise man once said um, that these are both true. So my opinion was that there is not enough documentation on uh, Perl secret operators. And so I wanted to add that documentation to Perl. Uh, but unfortunately, there are some bad words in the documentation, so it's probably better off on CPAN. And I'm now going to talk to you about that 171st manual page of Perl. So here's the synopsis. For those who don't know the um, secret operators, they look like this. Uh, basically, all of them have a nickname because they really look like ASCII art. Uh, because it's a lightning talk, I'm only going to talk about three of them that I never talked about before. I did a longer talk about those in the past, two or three years ago, four years ago, a long time ago. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's start. Uh, the first one is the winking fat comma. It's invented by Abigail, but I don't like the name. Um, I prefer this one. So it basically looks like this. <laughs> and what it does is actually disable the stringification on the left side of fat comma. So Abigail's name is better because it's really uh, fat comma, but the winking part. It's like, actually, I think this is uh, an off switch. So anyway, let's show an example. So imagine this code where you define uh, constants and then you want to have a hash where the constant point to the color, whatever. Of course, this is wrong because of stringification on the left side of the fat comma. One way to fix this is to add parentheses, but then it's ugly. So the other way is to flick off the off switch. And then you get this, which is what you wanted. So very nice. And it also preserves the, the good looks of the fat comma when you make ashes. Uh, then, yeah. The next one I wanted to talk about is the kite operator. So looks like this. And actually, I don't like the name either. But <laughs> the, the name I came up with is probably not as good and <laughs> doesn't fit in an in a official manual page. <laughs> and it's a very simple operator. It's actually a combination of another uh, secret op, which is the inchworm, and it gives you a single line of input in list context, which is not very often useful, but <laughs> is sometimes. So basically, imagine you want a list, and one of the items in the list <laughs> is coming from. <laughs> and of course, it's a container. It's a container. You know, there's a there's a something in there. Uh, so it could be a file handle. And I only have one minute left for the most interesting part of the talk. The Enterprise, invented by um, Aristotle. So it looks like this. Yeah, it's very hard to find a picture that uh, matches. So what does it do? Um, imagine that kind of code. You're making up a list, and some items are optional. So you want to push the apples only if you have less than two in your cupboard and so on. And it's really ugly. So you could do this. Uh, <laughs> the right hand side will give you a true or false value, thanks to the bang bang here. And then you will multiply the list the zero or one time. So it becomes a really easy way to throw out optional stuff in your list. I love it. I use it all the time. <laughs> In production code, <laughs> uh, maybe not book. Yeah, maybe uh, I don't know. I don't care. So anyway, that page it's on CPAN, and I'd love it if it was in the Perl documentation. Thank you. <laughs>